Right, so here we go. Every single world record has been broken yet again. So old Phil Diamond got a 7.52 and uh, Keegan Swinson beat it uh, by a good 10 minutes, um, 12 minutes actually, I think it was 7 hours 40. Um, so yeah, unbelievable scenes. So we're just going to compare the rides and look at all the rest of it. So obviously Keegan Swinson is 66 kilos. I've heard Gaimon is 66, but you know, more or less similar, similar weight and potentially slightly lighter, 265 normalized power. Um, which is obviously you know significantly lower, uh, but we'll get into the climbs and everything else in a minute. Right, so first of all, I'm just gonna comment on my Phil Gaiman one. Um, the climb was actually 1.3 kilometers long, not 900 meters. Um, it was actually slightly further than I thought it was. Um, I don't know why he did the weird stuff, but anyway, so you can hear here, see here it's about 1.2 kilometers, 1.3 kilometers, seven minutes climbing. Average water was like 305. Anyway, so this climb is significantly longer. It's three kilometers at 11%, uh, which allows you, you know, 14 minutes of climbing. So obviously there's less turning around, as I mentioned before, um, at the top and at the bottom, um, which is significant because obviously it's faster. Like imagine if you had, you know, 11% climb for 80 kilometers, then, you know, that's going to be, you know, or 8,888 kilometers. That would be your Everest. Obviously, that'd be a lot quicker than doing reps so the less reps you have to do the faster it is um the other thing that's really good about the segment is there's no braking required really maybe the first turn but i doubt it would be because um you're probably not covering uh carrying that much speed because you've just turned around now after that you can really um bomb it so you look at this like obviously you know he doesn't do a massive surge to get up to speed but then just gets in the air tuck 86k an hour average speed 77k an hour and the descent hits like 91 so that's super super good in terms of the segment so the segment is pretty good obviously elevation 1800 meters it's not mental um but you know if you were not used to elevation it could be a slight issue um so again in terms of the numbers is it's not as impressive as bill gaimon um assuming gaimon does weigh a little less but it's still nonetheless incredibly good um 265 weighted average power or oh, sorry 265 normalized at 66 kilos is pretty impressive so realistically would Gaimon beat this climb? Probably. I think I think he would. Um, if he went to the altitude, obviously, or, you know, assuming he's the altitude. I think. I think uh, me and my my friend Paul we were talking about it. And we think yeah, he probably would do. Um, but you know, around four watts per kilo. Uh, this is assuming uh, Swinson's weight weight is right. I think maybe it could be a little bit higher his weight, so his watts per kilo could be a little bit lower uh, than you know what they should be. Um, but I think you know he was pretty consistent um, in most of the efforts. He obviously did more as well he did like 9,000 meters i think it was so you know a couple a couple hundred meters are over what he had to do um and still beat gaimon so like even his 9,000 time beat gaimon's everesting time um but yeah you know 285 watts on the first one 288 on the second one obviously there's going to be some slight um variations um but yeah it's pretty pretty impressive i like i didn't think gaimon's time was going to get beaten he didn't just beat it he like properly whacked it um, I don't know how much help he got, but I assume like full, full help, um, and he didn't, you know, uh, do it on his own because I, I assume that's impossible. Um, but you can see this is the the Everest thing that he got, so um, it's pretty good because like so he did twenty nine repeats, and I assume Gaimon did far far more, as you can see here. So every single time, that's not good. Um, but anyway, what are your thoughts on Gaimon? I looked at Gaimon's latest video. He did run rim breaks, which I think is probably a good idea. Um, I know Keegan Swinson would have rode disc brakes because I'm pretty sure he's sponsored by a team and he's a mountain bike boy, so he has disc brakes, I reckon. Um, which probably maybe on his one is good because you know the braking is slightly better, but obviously it's a heavier bike, so it's all it's all things like that to take into consideration. But Gaimon series is pretty interesting. And at the same time, it's really funny because he like made this whole series and like you know everything, and then Keegan Swinson is just like your yeah, boy, let's smack it and just smashes it in one. Um but yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I think I still think like there'll be a climb. Like even this climb, the thing is though, it starts to get like hairpinny, which isn't ideal. Um, but like, you know, this climb here, like there's, you know, America I think could be quite good for it in some ways. You just need to find like a 10% road that has no like hairpins or anything. Because America, they're quite like building straight roads, as you can see here. Like there's no need to have curves, they won't. So I reckon like that could be, there could be a climb that's even better. Um, and also the other thing I forgot to mention is altitude. You do go faster, niche, but like on the descent, you will be descending significantly faster because there's less air pressure, which I think could be 
you know, it could be a minute or two. And at this, you know, over this many descents, I think it could be more than what people expect. Because, you know, he did, what, 36 attempts. It could be 10 seconds on each one. That's 360 seconds. That's six minutes. That's quite a lot of the gap. Um, so, yeah, I think air pressure is something else maybe to consider. On this on our climb, it's not going to make that much of a difference. It's going pretty slowly. Um, but you can also see that both climbs had average gradient of 10%. Which I think is like the maximum gradient you'd want before you have to then start changing your cassettes and everything else. And maybe on the descent it'll be yet too sketchy, but that seems like the sweet spot. Um, but anyway, what are your thoughts about the old Everest? Who do you think is going to go next? Do you think Gaimon's going to go back? Because I reckon Gaimon could get, do better if he picked a better climb, um, for sure. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one.